what Islamic law wants to do is in a sense ensure that nobody's biases, nobody's history, nobody's perspective, all right, is acquiring the status of what? Of revelation. Where's the proof? This is at the very heart of all negotiations in Islamic law. We need an interpretive authority. Sunni Islam locates that interpretive authority in what is known as ijma or unanimous consensus. Islamic law is very important in order to be able to understand the way in which Muslims will attempt to address virtually any issue that confronts them in the modern world, both domestically and internationally. The only doctrines that are deemed to be divinely protected from error are those on which there is a unanimous consensus. You would have unanimous consensus on things like murder is forbidden, adultery is forbidden, praying five times a day is obligatory. You'd have consensus on things like that, all right? But you could not get a consensus on any of the complex issues that would later arise, okay? For that reason, the community comes to be represented by the jurists, by the doctors of the law. But it is the doctors of the law from the entire community. The fact, however, that Muslims only recognize a view that's backed by unanimous consensus to be binding means that where you don't have that consensus, you have all kinds of views and Muslims simply have to agree to disagree. The erosion of that understanding is what often will promote forms of extremism in the modern world. The aim of the jurist is to penetrate divine intent, to actually try to penetrate what does God really want? 